Hello and welcome. This is the first in a sequence of videos about the underlying concepts of computer systems. My aim in this series is to explain computers from the bits to the applications. And the videos are all introductory, uh, but designed to describe the concepts in a really in easy and under uh, to understand manner, rather than going into great depth, just to get you started. This first video starts with the bits the basic building blocks of all modern computers. But before I start talking about bits and binary numbers, let's start with something you all know very well, and that's the decimal system. Now, the decimal number system, as you know, uses 10 different symbols. And here they are, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Everybody learns these as a, a young child. Uh, you learn to count with uh, decimal. And these 10 different symbols allow 10 different values. But what do we do about larger numbers? If we've got more than 10 numbers, well then how do we represent the higher values? Well, one way is that we could make up more symbols, but that would get out of hand very quickly and uh, you know, very large numbers would be very hard to remember. On the other hand, uh, there are some number systems that only use a single symbol and the number of times the symbol is written down is the value. Also totally impractical, I think you'll agree. Or we could use a sequence of symbols and attach meaning to the position of the symbol in the sequence. And that's what we do with the decimal number system. So for example, uh, the number 1,364, each position in this number has a weight so the number 1364, the rightmost symbol, has a weight of 1. And the second to the right has a weight of 10. The third to the right has a weight of 100. And the leftmost one, the fourth to the right, has a weight of 1000. And so on. And this way we can represent a very large value um, by using a sequence of symbols with uh, understanding what the weights of each position are. Now, the other thing about this is that the weights are a power of 10. So the rightmost symbol in this case has a weight of um, 10 to the zero, which is one. The second to the right has a weight of 10 to the one or 10. The third to the right has a weight of 10 to the two or 100. And the fourth uh, has a weight of 10 to the three or 1000. That's the decimal number system. And we all know and understand that. But the binary number system only uses two symbols, 0 and 1. For binary, the positions represent powers of 2 rather than powers of 10, as used in decimal. So for the binary number 1011, each position is a power of 2. And so you can see here that uh, the first position is uh, weighted by 1, the next position by 2, then by 4, and then by 8. And so uh, it's doubling each time, it's going up by a power of two. So here we are, the first position is weighted two to the zero, the next two to the one, then two to the two, two to the three, and so on, as you can see. So it's, it's similar to decimal uh, with uh, the, the weights going up uh, by a, a power of one each time, uh, but the base is different. In this case, the base is two, not, not uh, 10 as in decimal. So one problem though with binary numbers is that they take up a lot more space. So if you look at the number, for example, 9,384 in decimal, then we write it out like this in binary. It's a long string of zeros and ones. So it's 1001001010100. That's quite a mouthful. So binary numbers are very long. One way to save space when you write them down, write a binary number down, is to use another number base, other than 2 or 10, to represent the number. Um, and you could do this, and uh, early computers uh, used, for example, a base 3 or a ternary system, uh, or various other systems. But implementing this in hardware is much more difficult than binary. You have to represent, for example, in the ternary case, you had to represent three different values in each element, instead of just two. Eventually, all computer systems de uh, designs settled on a base two, or binary numbers. But we can improve things if we um, write it down 
using a number for the base that's also a power of two. And that makes it very easy to convert each symbol or digit into binary and so convert the whole number. That way we can have the computer use the binary representation internally, but we can use an easier to read representation for humans. So let me, let me explain this with an example. The most common base used in computer systems when showing numbers to humans is base 16, usually called hexadecimal. For hexadecimal or base 16, we need 16 different symbols. So we use 0 to 9 and A to F. This allows us to represent the values 0 to 15, each as a single symbol, 0 to 9 and A to F. Incidentally, the word hexadecimal comes from the Greek hex for 6 and the Latin deci for 10, hexadecimal. Originally, um, the British called the base 16 sexadecimal from the Latin word sex for 6, but it didn't catch on. If we take this big number uh, in binary, and we, we uh, write it out in hexadecimal, we get this number, 24A8, which is much shorter. If we use hexadecimal, it's very easy to convert to and from binary, because each digit in the hexadecimal number represents a number in the range 0 to 15. So, for example, if we take each digit in this number, 24A8, and convert to binary, we get this pattern. So 2 becomes 0010, 4 becomes 0100, A is 1010, and 8 is 1000. And that's our original number. So we've been able to break up the number into these groups of four and uh, convert them um, very, very easily. And you soon learn uh, the mapping between the hexadecimal symbols to the binary four digits. Uh, of course, we can also do the reverse convert a binary number to a hexadecimal very easily. And here we've just broken it into groups of four and then converted each four into a single hex digit. Binary digits inside a computer are usually uh, arranged in groups of eight, uh, we call bytes. So binary digits uh, is shortened to bits and the uh, eight bit grouping is called a byte. And since bytes consist of two groups of four bits, it's very easy to write the value as two hex digits. We just break it into the two groups of four and then translate each group of four into a single hex digit. The reason we use binary to represent information in computers is that there are only two possible values for each symbol, zero and one. And these are easily represented in hardware as a switch that is either off for zero or on for one and computer memory is created from these simple switch elements. They're actually um, a single transistor which is either on or off. And large numbers of them are used to create your memory, one for each bit. These switch elements make up the building blocks of all modern computers. Not only do they represent memory, but in a modified form they allow the construction of logic elements like AND or OR, so you can combine the bits. And this allows us to do arithmetic and logical operations on binary numbers. And from that, we build our entire computer. In my next video, I'm going to show you how we can take a string of bits and represent numbers. But in the meantime, I'll leave you with one simple thought.